Are you tired of politicians playing partisan politics on Capitol Hill? Are you someone whose views and beliefs do not align with the two major political parties of the United States of America? Do you wish for a political party that better fits you and would actually get something accomplished? Introducing CAP, the Centralist American Party. We gathered a bunch of different people across the political spectrum and came together to make a new party, one designed to benefit everyone, not just one side of the aisle. Here's a word from our Vice President nominee regarding our policies. So, you messed up. You left your party members stranded, all canceled, and I've got to do this on my own. So this is what you get for a presentation. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Sterling Doss, and today I will be telling you about the Centralist American Party. Here are our policies. The current government has ruined the educational system. And in order to combat their tyranny, we have implemented some of our own educational opportunities. Our first policy is limiting the county zone requirement. By doing this, we further advance the knowledge of our students tenfold. By allowing them to go to different schools to further their education and something that isn't a dead set you have to go to this school. Everyone knows that all public schools are not created equal. Therefore, why should we force children to go to a public school that is not adequate at all for them? Our second educational policy is to implement advanced trade opportunities. By implementing advanced trade opportunities within schools, we allow for a smoother transition into future careers by our students. This could be anything from welding, HVAC, electronics, or auto body. Our last but not least policy is increase our federal funding towards public schools. We cannot do our second policy without this, and therefore it is only logical to increase the federal funding. Social welfare was a little bit more difficult of a policy to come up with, but we managed to come up with two. Our first policy is to implement a 24-hour child care facility. With this, we know that not every parent can go to work because of their children. If we eliminate having to find a babysitter for all these parents, then they will be allowed to go to work more often, therefore increasing the economy. Our second policy is to implement a mandatory monthly urinalysis test for people living and receiving welfare. The reason for this is because it is unfair to our hardworking men and women to take drug tests to keep their job and have people living off of welfare to not have a drug test and just continue to take drugs and use that money for drugs. Our financial policy views differ from many, many different parties. That being said, there are currently only two of them and I will not call them out by name. Republicans, um, but here they are. Our first policy is raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. On top of raising it to $15 an hour, on a yearly basis we will adjust for inflation. Our second policy, we will implement laws that regulate how much a company can charge for certain products. Because as soon as we implement our $15 an hour, policy, they will immediately jack up the prices on everything. So in order to combat that, we have policy two. For our third financial policy, we will lock down on all tax loopholes used by the wealthy to avoid paying federal taxes. Is it fair that when they make 
thousand dollars a month that they should pay no taxes while you're over here working the old minimum wage paying taxes out the rear end no it's not so locking down on those loopholes next on our list is national defense national defense takes the most priority out of all of our policies because the defense of this nation and the people who protect this nation are the most important to our economy. First on that list is higher pay for our enlisted and officers of the armed forces. Next is a DD-214 combat compensation pay that gives out more benefits to veterans who've seen combat veterans who were field medics, and veterans who were in the search and rescue departments. Next, and also for the veterans, we will reform the VA, which is a jumbled mess of a government-run hospital. Unlike our government-run hospital, which will be much better. And last, but not least, we will complete the border construction or heighten the security around our national borders, because that is always essential to a growing economy. As talked about in our last set of policies, the health care in this country is inadequate, to say the least. So, to fix that, we've implemented these policies. First, we will provide an improved, optional, government-run health care facility. Next, and possibly the most important thing in this section, we will regulate how much pharmaceutical companies can charge their consumers for over-the-counter medicine and prescription drugs. Next, we have internet censorship. Internet censorship is a difficult policy to tackle because it borders on the infringement of the First Amendment. That being said, we have this idea. Our policy for internet censorship will be to implement a digital media filter that will filter out all obvious lies in all mainstream media platforms. This policy will tarnish the reputation of all mainstream media outlets that decide to go against it and spread falsified information to the population. Furthermore, it will fine and continuously fine these media outlets per offense. Here are our individual issues. First, we have our adult package. Within the adult package, we will lower the voting age down to 16. We will also lower the drinking and smoking age back down to 18. And finally, in the adult package, we will allow minors to apply for and receive credit cards with their parents' permission and with their credit limits. Next, we have our climate change issues. Within our climate change issues, we will require solar panels on every governmentally funded building and every governmentally funded park or recreational area. Next, we will encourage cycling in our larger cities. By doing this, most vehicle emissions will be reduced. Afterwards, we will rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement and attempt to have other countries reduce their own emissions. And last, but not least, we will bring back the old rule of thumb. If you cut down one tree, you plant three more. Our next issue is immigration. On our topic of immigration, we will reform the current system to simplify it and make it easier for immigrants to enter the country legally, also encouraging legal entry into the country. And last but not least, we have our STEM investments. These investments will be used to positively impact the environment. These investments may include our geomagnetic generator, a hydrogen-fueled internal combustion engine, and a plant-based 
motor oil. Thank you for listening to this informal of the Centralist American Party. And remember, take us to the Capitol.